but also at the same time it's not. Normally, you know, up here, strap or not, this happens to be this happens to be a, a punch, so it happens to have those nice bendy bendable corners. Which, if you really want to be that kind of guy, I'm, I'm not going to do it hard. But you can throw hard into where that corner is, and it'll it'll fold. I'm totally sorry. I didn't mean. I mean. No, it's okay. Um, I'm used to being an okay. But like any other fighting, um, the whole point, especially if you get some really bold, it's flow, whatever, is to move, is to open them up. So, generally speaking, throwing a couple shots down here. We'll make it, well, no, you don't have to be that exaggerated. Okay. But throwing a couple shots will make him lower his shield, right? Generally speaking, yes, yes, yes. So what you can do, and what uh, this works, this works really, really well, and you have to get very good on that end to not fall for it. Because a lot of times you can come in and swing here and come back around. Because by the time you're about here, if he tries to pull up, I have a hell of a lot more leverage. Yeah. Now, I might not always get that. I might get that. But the point is, like any other fighting, you want to move his, his shield around. And that, that could just be a quick sweep around. That could be down, up, down. Really, you want to do up, down, up. Because the first up will get him to lock up up here. It will, it, it will happen. Sorry, I'm going to turn you a little more. So lock up up here. The second, which you want to sell very well. You'll have to, hopefully it's not as what you think it is. But, so now we'll drop that shield and just come right back up. Now, a neat little tidbit if you are running something like a red. Or a uh, crushing, great. No, because this is set, all of them are great. Yeah, it's a, yeah, you're right. um, a red, lycanthropy, whatever, barbarian, whatever. A neat thing you can do is one, two. And he's already got two shots on his shield. All it was was one, two. The stabs count for red, at least in Amcar. So he's already got, and it's a quick one, two. And I guarantee you that third shot, he's not going to rush me. If I'm, if I'm out here, right, right, got the two shots, there's a good chance he's not going to rush me because all I have to do at that point is one, two, three, and get him. If you really want to be a, uh, a, a rude person, I'm pretty sure I'm being filmed right now. <laughs> is you just go one, two, three, and get get them on the leg, leg them and leave them. Because at that point I can come back to him at any point in time. Uh, really. I, I, he, he is no absolutely no threat to me. Period. If, he, if, he, if I didn't have if I didn't read his I can read his shield once and it's gone, and then tap him, I can just do it. I can maneuver him wherever I want. So that's a neat thing you can do with pole. Um, on the opposite end, um, the going, gunning the poleman, you want to bait his shots and then rush. Because at, at this point right here, if, if he starts, so you know how we we do our normal dance of like who's gonna position who, right? So it's like 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 we're fighting, right? I still have all. I'm still winning. I'm yeah. winning at all times right now. Because especially especially right now that I'm touching, I know he's well within range. Don't move for me to get anything. I haven't even throw, I haven't even stepped into a shot, right? So I know that I can just drop him here, and especially a quick pop will get him to move his shield. And he even flinched. Um, but what you're going to want to do is you want to actually get outside the range. You want to start outside of my max range, which no, that's that's way too much. So like safe range right there, right? And you're gonna to want, as him as the board fighter, he's gonna to want to bait my shot. Why? Because if he starts to, which you can do, you can do easily by even a full, a full step in and out, or even a half step in and out. Like, oh, perfect. Yeah. Because I'll probably go for that, right? And then, yeah. And then it's a race. He'll, he'll beat me back. And once I'm out here, and once he gets within right there, he won't let the shot. I, I'm now having to come this way, right? Mm -hmm. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Like, unless I have a backup weapon, I'm, I've got no leverage anymore. So, like anything in, in our game, it's a game of patience. Um, uh, especially, uh, 
you, young man, have a bad, bad habit of being impatient while late. So, let's do the sword board real quick. Oh, we fight. Oh no, he took my leg. Right? I have all day. At this point, I have not. I have really not much left to lose. So, if I do that, I, I'm not. I'm not striking because all I, all he has to do. There, dead. There's no point. Now I can do some. I can do some tricky things. Let's. Uh, I can do a couple of tricky things, right? Ignore this leg for right now, this is just because it's comfortable. So, if I'm sitting here and I want him to throw that strike, right? Maybe I, maybe I lower my shield a little bit. Because, boom. And as soon as he makes that movement, I'm already going. Because you want to beat him out. So you, that's, what, that's the whole point about base stuff, right? If I'm sitting here, I'm waiting, boom. Or, in the sense of the reverse, which is how I always get you, right? He will probably want, he, want, he wants to bait me. Um, for intent purposes, that's my deadline. Like. <clears throat> Again, not for me. Alright, the armor is digging. So, more than likely, what uh, Sebastian will do is actually lean back and expose that leg. So, he wants me to go for the leg. Generally speaking, yes, I know it's going to be a bait leg. But it's never bad to try to go for that opportunity. And right now, what he's actually really baiting is his, is his torso. For you to come for that shot. Right? And this is a big lesson. Really, this lesson is for you, for you as a, it's a really big lesson is that you need to be patient on, on both sides. You can be a little bit more aggressive up here, but generally, generally, since he has more limbs than I do, he has a lot more freedom. Armor. <laughs> oh, okay. So now this is all living in. Sword and board is is, is 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 both great and it's got it's like it's like any other any other thing. Flow is really heavily offensive. This is very it's kind of mixed because pull pull is very defensive, flow is offensive, this is that nice balance. So we're fighting, right? A couple of cool shots you can throw. Everybody knows the standard dark side, right? And even then I even locked them up. Um, of which, you really want to sell that dark side? Um, well, is that your normal, like, fighting stance? Because you're very square. Sure. Okay. <laughs> you're very square to me. So how I would really sell that? And I sell it to a lot of you guys. And I look like I'm going for that leg, right? So you go for that leg and, and pops that over. Yes, this is a punch shield. It gives me that nice freedom to do all this. Even with a strap, all you're having to really do is just lean it forward. Another great one I've talked to you is, you can do this, is I call it, the, I call it a, a half side. So I throw down for that leg. Generally move that shield. Not even that, that's not that much. But right? So if you, especially if you threw it after you threw a dark side, so if I start like this, right? Alright, cool. So then it'll it'll bait like a it'll uh, like like day. Uh, that's a crappy quote, don't quote me on that, because that was It's a day awful. side, not a dark side. A day side. <laughs> Another really good one too, if you have to after you dark side of them, is this one. Uh, I'm gonna do this one we're gonna go full speed. All the way over, all the way back. That looks it's the exact same motion as the dark side. Come back. And again, pulls him that way, like any other fighting. I made him move his shield that way because I wanted that, that arm or that shoulder. Um, you can also add to it too. It's, it gets kind of funny. I pulled this off the other day, which was, it was one, two, three, four. And you, just, you saw that the shield started like this. It was. Uh, uh, just do it real slow. No, no, no. What, what I just did. Oh, real slow. Okay. So it started like that, and then the shoe got a little bit wider, and then it was, it was just it was like, oh god! It's really funny. You watch this tracking. <laughs> this one, um, uh, Delos, 
toes on one. Another thing I would recommend is look up One Grind Nation. Okay, this is a lot of demonstration. Uh, I'm going to do this really awful because I've never actually done this before. Is the double board side. So we're normal fighting, right? The first shot comes to here, right? Board. And my hand's protected, everything's pretty good. You got no good shot. Then what I'll do is instead of pulling back, I'll actually step up to my sword and throw it again. And you can do the same thing. So that's if your shield foot's forward, right? It, which is fighting, fighting. You do the opposite, sword leg forward. It's here, meet feet together, throw it again. Pop back up. Angry Birds! Oh, really, you two? Again? <laughs> They're fighting again. The hummingbirds will do that. This one's a fun one, but it's also a little bit hard. There's two, there's two things for it. Normal stance. So, high cross is a very bad shot, really. It exposes, it's bad. But what you can do is, so you throw that high cross, right? And jam them up. Throw it again. Sorry about that. See, one, two, three. If you keep jamming it up, you can, you can move around it. Really, you probably want to move this side. That's a great, it's a great shot for things like, you know, one, two, three, and get that hip. You can also do this one, which is, I've had both good and bad success with it, so we're going to go slow. Which is one, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> right? Just on that second. Oh, hang a little bit of my armor. The first one, normal jam. Second one, he's, oh, I'm sorry. That's what I was expecting to brace for. The I second one, one, he's bracing really, really hard for, right? Uh -huh. So I go for it again, but now he's expecting to brace in this direction. So I'm going to help with that by knocking his sword down and taking that arm. Hey, the reason I say you have to be careful with it is I've gotten it successfully, and I've also done this, and I did this Thursday at Corban, which was one, two, three, and cut him straight across the eyes, and then four. I felt really bad. <laughs> um, main thing I will tell you all about sword and board um, is you you want to you you have to be very careful with your board position because the whole the whole name of the game is how do I get you to move your board? You know, even that was just a subtle. They're gonna fall. They're gonna generally speaking, my cover came off. Is they're gonna follow your sword. Even just this motion. I haven't, I haven't exposed anything. All I did was take the pommel and drop it down. And his shield went, whoop! Great. You can do that with other things, too. Hell, I've done, I've pulled this off before. Uh, step. Again, they're following the sword. They're worried about the sword. To work on that. Uh, Linear fighting will get you only so far. Linear fighting would be stuff like we're fighting like this. Uh, I'm not going to take my shield. And then I'm just throwing some stuff like that. Wrap. Normal wrap. Very linear. Where you're going to get your upper echelon, better better warlords or warriors and stuff like that, is things, even simple things like tick tock tick. One, two, three. Because they're going to react hard in that second one. Also remember, too, that after you've thrown something, Generally speaking, it's it's combat computer work and such. I throw a thing, he throws a thing, I throw a thing, he throws a thing. I do something, he do something, I do something, he do something. So you have to be prepared for that. That's why block strike is very important. So if I he throws if I throw something right and he blocks it, then it's a normal block. Right? I have to then assume that he's probably gonna throw something else. And from this position or whatever position you're in, you gotta go back to that next normal position. So from here, he probably won't come down here. The next, the, the logical option, yeah, would be to be right there, which would be to come back up here. Or right here, and then here. Now, from here, he would have to think, maybe maybe back that way, which is not going to be right. I'll probably come this way, because it's exposed. So that's a quick little thing, lesson. While we're, while we're talking and hanging out, we can work, can work on that. I can work on that with some of you guys. Any questions? Negative? Anybody want to work work on it with me? I'll, I'll work on it with you. Sort of more and stuff.
A huge amount of what he's doing is directing body motion. Yep. If you're familiar with jiu-jitsu, they'll call it kazushi. It's, you know, oh, okay, I'm pulling back and I'm trying to defend myself, so my arms are all clenched inwards. Which means that if you go the opposite direction, it's like, whoa, okay, it takes a second for the muscle to change. Yep. Or if I'm throwing a shot, it takes a second to reverse direction. So if it's like a back, forth, back, forth, each time you get faster and you have to pull with more force back, which means you're more likely to overshoot. If anybody wants to work on it, I will gladly work on it. That's for ID armor, club high. <laughs> Uh, the whole, like, the description they gave was you were invited to a masquerade party at a very rich man's house, and you're pretty much looking for clues to find, try to find him, like, guilty of, like, siding money or something like that. Like fraud or something? Yes. Another thing is, um, I'll, I'll, I'll explain it all real quick. That. Any, any kind of, now I know that if I do that, you're generally going to go up here. So, if I then move up to that, how you feel that shot? I like to keep, I do like to keep my, my small, here I'll, I'll fight small, uh, a little higher. Unless you're trying, unless you're a perfect yeah, defender. I'm saying like, I'm saying I can take your leg in the way of doing the same thing. Well, at that point, it's Right? Where just here. 
shot in there, right? Yeah, I've got the block almost the whole time. Another neat one you can throw, and I've thrown this against you guys too. And it's all it is, all these are paint. They're, they're designed to open. You my sword, I got ah! Right? Where'd you, where'd you throw? Where did you throw? Right? The one that has the block, that's wide open. And if you actually finish your throw, It looked like you were going for that high cross. Because that was here, right? If you, yeah. if you actually throw the shot, I would have had it. If I was going to do this, I probably should have
I make up for it when I'm playing into medium. I make up for it by going low, pulling it in as not heel. Thank you. 
Next week is 12, right? Hey guys, and thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please click that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, uh, drop a comment down below. Take care.